Hey y'all, it's Deb, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna go over five ways that having a budget can positively impact your life. If you're one of those people that the word budget is more like a four letter word to you, hopefully this video will help you get over that and give you the gentle push that you need to sort of get that done. Before we get started, I'm sure you noticed this mess behind me. I've been working on my 2023 goals. I will list that video down below in case you're interested in watching. One of the goals was to up my sewing skills. I have like <laughs> basic baseline sewing skills, but I've always wanted to be able to make my own clothes. This is one of the ones I was able to make. It only cost me like six to $8 to make it. I love it, it's comfortable. I'm really happy about it. So that's what that is. All right, let's get into the video. I thought about ranking these from the least important to the most important, but as I go along and talk about each of these five reasons why you need a budget, you'll find that as far as I'm concerned, they're all equally important. The first way that having a written budget is going to help you is that it's going to help you name your goals. Are you trying to pay off debt? Are you saving for your kid's college fund? Do you want to pay your house off early? Does your car need to be replaced? Are you working on your emergency savings account? Sometimes it's really hard to nail down one or more goals when we don't have a written budget because you don't know how much money you have left over at the end of every month. Therefore, you don't know what your goals are in priority. You don't know how much you can afford to save or afford to pay off. Having a written budget will help you figure that out much more easily. Number two is a big one if you are married. Having a written budget is going to help strengthen your marriage in two different ways. Number one, it's going to eliminate some possible arguing or conflict or miscommunication or unmet expectations because you two have never really come together and said, these are our financial goals. This is the way we're going to get there. We need to break it down into a monthly budget. This is what we've agreed upon. When you haven't done that, you've got unrealistic expectations you have more ways of causing conflict with each other, more arguments are gonna take place, and it causes more stress between the two of you instead of you two working together. The second way that this is gonna improve your relationship is that now you two get to encourage each other and cheer each other on. When one of you is having a weekday where, and I don't mean like a weekday, I mean like a weekday, where you wanna spend money but it hasn't been put in the budget, the other one gets to be the encourager, the uplifter. Babe, remember, we had this meeting two weeks ago. We really need to stick it through. What can I do to help you? And if you're anything like us, I guarantee you throughout the month, one of you is going to be weaker, one of you is going to be stronger, and at some point during the month, you could possibly switch off. So I might be having a week, a weaker day, and Adam is cheering me on, and then cut to two weeks later, he's having a day where he would like to spend money, and I cheer him on. You get to encourage each other, and I can't tell you what that does for a relationship. It's so vital to you two growing together. Having a written budget with your spouse can eliminate so much needless arguing. You've already come together and agreed, what are our goals? How are we gonna spend our money every month? It really leaves nothing to argue about as far as finances. I highly encourage every married couple to have a written budget. The third way that having a written budget can positively impact your life is that you're gonna figure out very, very quickly, where do I have room to spend money and where do I need to cut back? This is going to force character building and some maturity. Anything in life that comes along and stretches us and causes us to um, make hard decisions, sometimes this can be viewed as a negative thing, but I don't think so. I think this is a good thing. I'm 43 years old and I still want to grow and mature as I get older. I don't want to become stagnant. Having a written budget can sort of force that in me when it doesn't come naturally to me. And you'll start to find that when you're in situations where you're out with your friends or you and your spouse are out or you're in the grocery store and you feel tempted, and it's going to happen all the time, and you feel tempted to spend money when it's not in the written budget and you overcome those temptations, it feels really good. It helps you mature and to grow into a better person. 
Number four, having a written budget can help you prepare for a true financial emergency. Let me explain. So for the last couple of years, Adam and I have had um, a very specific budget for every single month. We know where every dollar is going, every category that our family needs, right? Also including retirement, savings, college fund, those sorts of things. So last summer he lost his job. And when you have a high emotional situation and you feel like you've been kicked in the gut, it's very, very difficult to make good thought through decisions. So here's what we did. We went into the office, we pulled up our typical budget for the upcoming month. So if he lost his job in July, we pulled up the budget for August. What we did is we created what Adam likes to call a bare bones budget. We went through every category and we went bare bones. How much food does the family actually need? How much gas do we do we need? <laughs> um, nobody's getting new clothes. Nobody's getting new shoes. We're gonna put all of those things on hold, figure out what do we need? The mortgage, electricity, food, gas to work, things like that. If we had not had a very specific budget for the month of August, we would have had no clue where we could have said, well, this can go, this can go, this needs to stay, this needs to stay. We would have had to start from scratch. And let me just tell you, when emotions are running high, that is not the time you wanna figure that stuff out. You sort of wanna walk through that when life is a little bit more calm. So something that I highly recommend everybody does, whether you're married or you're single, you should always have a bare bones budget. That's what, that's what Adam likes to call it. You should sit down and say, if I lose my job or my house catches on fire, and I'm not being funny, this has happened. My parents, their house caught on fire, it was horrible. Um, if I lose my house, if I lose my job, if, if my spouse gets sick or I get sick, let me come up with a bare bones. What do I need to survive and just get through that very hard season? I highly, highly recommend that everybody has one. Tuck it away somewhere, save it somewhere. That way when life hits you really, really hard, you already have it and you don't have to make decisions when your emotions are just off the charts. Number five is going to be big for people like me who battle anxiety when it comes to money. When you have a written budget, you already know how much do I have, how much is going out, do I need to make more income, or do I need to eliminate some unnecessary spending? This will help you sleep better. You won't stress as much. You'll already have a lot of your questions answered before the month ever gets started. If I get the flu and I need to go to the doctor and pay for some antibiotics that's because I don't have insurance or it's not covered or anything like that, I already have those categories in place. I have planned for emergencies. I've created a bare bones budget so I know what to do if life hits me hard. You won't have that stress. You won't have that anxiety anymore. It is very, very helpful. For those of you that don't already have a written budget, I hope this video was encouraging and uplifting and gives you the extra push that you need to get that done. Maybe now you'll have a better understanding of all the ways that having a written budget can help you and your family. For those of you that do have a written budget, please feel free to comment down below ways that having one has positively impacted your life. I would love to read them. It would be so encouraging for those other people that are watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope it inspired you to finally get that budget done, and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye!